Welcome to this 5-minute episode on how to create a scan using an alert window. In contrast to top list windows, these action scans can notify you by sound whenever a stock makes a Our specific XST, move. HDSN, BTF. So, let's build a simple alert window that will show us stocks that have gapped up overnight or in the pre-market and are continuing to make moves. First, we go to the toolbar, open the new tab, and select Alert Window. This will bring us straight to the Configuration menu. The Strategies tab provides access to many pre-built scans. If you would like to use one of them, simply double-click on its name and click OK. The scan will load instantly. But, since we have our own idea, we will instead double-click on Start from Scratch. Next, we'll head to the Search tab to select the filters we need. Let's start by adding filters to our alert window. Filters will tell our scan which stocks we are interested in. Alerts, on the other hand, are specific actions that we would like to see these stocks make and that we're monitoring our filtered stocks for. But let's start filtering before we get to the action. For this scan, I am only interested in stocks between $10 and $100, so I will select the price filter and then press the Add Filter button. This will bring me straight to the Window Specific Filters tab where I can enter my price range of $10 minimum and $100 maximum. Since I don't want my scan to bring up illiquid stocks, I head back to the search tab and enter volume as my next search term. As you can see, there are various filters to choose from. I will pick today's volume and select Add Filter again. Back at the window specific filters tab, I'll enter 50,000 as the minimum. I don't bother to define a maximum. The scan will now only look for stocks that have already traded at least 50,000 shares today. Here is one quick tip on the side. Whenever you're unsure about a filter setting, simply click the magnifying glass between the min and max field, and you will get a clear summary of what the particular filter is looking for. And, if you're unsure how a specific filter works, simply right-click on it and select Help. This will bring you to the Alert and Filter Definition page on our website which describes all our alerts and filters in detail. Now, let's find the gappers. To find the right filter, I'll just enter gap in the search box. I would like to specify the size of the gap in dollar, as well as in percent, so I will add both of these gap filters. In the Windows Specific Filters tab, I will enter 4% as the minimum gap. And, I will enter 50 cents, so 0 0.50, as the minimum gap size in dollars, that any stock needs to have, to show up in my scan. Since all my filters need to be met at the same time for a stock to show up, this means that the gap needs to be 4%, and, also, at least 50 cents. That's all the filtering I need for this scan. Now, let's select the actions we're wanting the stocks that we find with these filters to make. I want to see the stocks that continue to make moves after they gapped up, so I will choose the new high alert. Since this alert only works during market hours, I will additionally add the pre-market highs alert. To activate my chosen alerts, I need to add a checkmark in the Select Alerts tab. Next up is the Exchanges tab. I want the scan to check all main exchanges, so I won't make adjustments here. I would, however, like to exclude ETFs, so I will head to the Symbol Lists tab. Here, I click on Add Existing List, and select the The Preset ETF list from the dropdown. I place a checkmark here, and select, Exclude the following lists from this dropdown. In the Columns tab I can choose which filter columns I would like to see in my alert window. The field on the left-hand side lists the already displayed columns. The right-hand side contains all the available ones. Now that I have added my requirements, I will double-check that my scan is doing what it should, with the help of the Summary tab. And voila! My scan is looking for stocks with a price range of $10 to $100, that have traded at least 50,000 shares today have gapped up at least 50 cents, and in percentage terms, show a minimum gap of 4%. My scan will now monitor these stocks and alert me, as soon as they make a new high. All perfect. Let me quickly name my new scan, then we can finally fire it up. As you can see, my scan will show me the newest alert at the top and add a timestamp. Since I don't want to keep checking it constantly, I'll add sound notifications. To do so, I right-click into the alert window, Select Properties, and then Actions. Now I'll check Play Sound in the new pop-up window. Then I'll click, Set Up Sound. The next window displays the different sound options. I'll choose Text to Speech so that a voice will call out each stock symbol that triggers. Once I hit OK, 
every symbol that's hitting my scan will be called out. The last, but very important step is to save all newly created scans to the cloud. Right click into it, select save or share to cloud, then press save. To load it back up, go to the toolbar, open the file tab, and select, load from cloud. Now highlight your new scan, then press load. This is just a short intro into scan building. We have over 500 alerts and filters to choose from, so the possibilities are truly endless. A -D -N -T. Ads.